Hi, and welcome to a brief introduction to the Science Fundamentals module. This module addresses fundamental science topics pertaining to the use of the radio frequency spectrum. These topics include basic spectrum concepts, characteristics of radio waves and wave propagation, properties of signals in the time and frequency domains, and environmental noise. Here's a little more detail on the topics addressed in this module. First, an introduction to the electromagnetic spectrum, and then a narrowing down to the part of the spectrum that we refer to as the radio frequencies. And we'll say a little bit about which frequencies are used for which applications. Radio frequency signals travel in the form of waves, so we'll have a few concepts to cover there. These include the distinction between spherical and plane waves, how we quantify the power that's transported by a wave, and the polarization of a wave. Then we'll move on to talk about how radio waves interact with the environment, what we might refer to as propagation. For this, we'll talk about the relevant properties of materials, in particular how wave power is lost in certain materials. And then we'll talk about reflection of waves. The concept of reflection will lead us to an important model for terrestrial propagation, in which we assume that the surface of the Earth is flat, so that propagation between two points near the surface of the Earth can be modeled as the coherent sum of a direct path contribution and a contribution which is reflected from the ground. We call this the two-ray model. Then we'll address the concept of radio horizon, which is a crude but useful way to estimate the maximum range of signals in terrestrial radio systems. Next, we'll talk about how radio signals are used to send information. Almost always, this is by a method known as sinusoidal carrier modulation. This modulation determines bandwidth, and bandwidth is a primary concern in the management of spectrum. So, we'll talk about signals in the frequency domain. Also, I'll show you a few examples of signals as they appear in the frequency domain, including a few examples recorded right off the air. Finally, we'll acknowledge that there are things lurking in the radio spectrum beyond the signals that humans intend to send to each other, namely, environmental noise. We'll wrap up the module with a discussion of this type of noise, which originates from the environment itself, and so is an unavoidable component of the radio frequency spectrum. My name is Steve Ellingson, and I'm the creator of this asynchronous online module. I'm an associate professor of electrical and computer engineering at Virginia Tech, where I specialize in radio frequency systems and applications, and I teach courses in electromagnetics and communications. If for whatever reason you'd like to know more about me and what I do, here's my personal web page, which is available via the URL shown at the bottom left. From this page you can follow links to my publications and to my YouTube channel. So just briefly, my research involves antennas and propagation, applied signal processing, and RF instrumentation. My work on instrumentation includes RF electronics, digital signal processing, and software for RF systems with unusual or extreme requirements. I also work on instrumentation and techniques for radio astronomy, most recently in the development of meter wave and centimeter wavelength telescopes and interference mitigation techniques. That concludes this brief introduction to the Science Fundamentals module. Thanks for listening.